Hello everyone and welcome to Service Now Guy. I am Gunjan Kiratkar and today we will discuss about vendor and contract life cycle in the vendor management. It is our third part of this playlist and if you haven't watched the first two parts then go ahead and first watch them uh, so that you will get the clear understanding of the vendor management in the service now. So let's get started with the vendor life cycle first. For that we need to navigate to this uh, all vendors and then you can see that the vendor list is uh, getting loaded and the filter is applied as the vendor is equal to true so all the organizations all the companies are not initially vendor we will have to make their vendor flag as true in order to make them as a vendor so you can see that i am the administrator for uh, i am the vendor manager for this adobe system as a system administrator and once i open this you can see that it is having multiple states in evolution not selected selected onboarding active active unauthorized and the terminated so you can select this state as per your convenience if you are onboarding the particular uh, vendor and you wanted to make sure uh, that this must be uh, follow all proper procedure and make their evolution you can make uh, the state as in e evolution and if that gets selected you can make the state as selected else not selected state is there so these states are not going to change automatically we don't have any workflow in order to change this state uh, in the service now but yes you can create the workflow for it custom workflow and make changes in the state so uh, but as of now we will have to uh, select the state uh, manually as per the states of this particular vendor and then it is having the uh, general information and the fields that we need to fill while onboarding any vendor like the website rank vendor manager business owner as well as the general information regarding that particular vendor location then the financials risk scoring but this risk scoring tab is empty because uh, we haven't yet enabled that vendor risk management plugin if we enable that then the vendor risk scoring is having some values some fields within it if you scroll down a little bit you can see that there are multiple related lists are present but in this uh, playlist we are basically focusing on the uh, vendor life cycle and the contract life cycle so we are done with the vendor life cycle now we will move to the contract life cycle how exactly we can make the contract and how the contract flow works so in order to create any contract for this dedicated vendor we can click on the new button from this related list or we can create the contract from that contract table as well and assign the vendor for that particular contract so we are creating the contract from here i'm clicking on this new button and then we can see that there are two fields which are mandatory one is a contract model and the second one is the contract number so if we click on this button then we can see that there are multiple contract models are present out of the box we can create our own contract model as well into this table but currently we are selecting this uh, maintenance as the contract model and you will have to uh, enter the contract number manually it will not be uh, populate automatically so i'm just entering the number as co1234 and i'm saving this initially you can see that the state is draft and the substate is in the awaiting review so basically the state and the substate are uh, handled by using the business rule and the script include there is a dedicated business rule and the script include written to handle the state and the substrate of the contract management but the state and substrate is dependent on the start and the end date of this contract so we will have to put the start and end date suppose if i am selecting the start date as a 30 and the end date as the 5th of august and now i am saving it then still the state is draft and the substrate is awaiting review now you can see here one button as a submit for review but if you click on this button it will give you error to add the approver because we need to add the approver for this particular contract as well 
and that uh, approver must have role as the contract manager so the user which are having the role as a contract manager are only visible here so if we click here then we can see that there are total six user which are having the contract manager as a role we are currently selecting this user and then submit for review once we click on the submit for review then the substrate changes to under review and the approval is created for this particular user now we have login to this instance as admin so we can approve uh, the approver for this particular user forcefully so then we will go to the approver table my approvals then we are removing this filter from here and yes this uh, approval is created for that particular contract and we are approving it once we approve that then you can see that the substrate changes to the approved and the state remains in draft now you might have question that uh, why the state still is in the draft after even approval and the st substrate changes to the approved so for that we need to understand that the start date is the 30 and the today's date is 29 and because of that it is still in the draft state so suppose if we change the start date to the 29 and if we save it then you can see that the substrate changes to none from approved and the state become active so this is how it works suppose if uh, end date meets uh, for the august 5th of august then the uh, state is automatically changes to the expire and this is how it works suppose if we wanted to make any uh, modification into the start and the end date then we can click on this adjust button and after clicking on this adjust button it will allow us to change the start and end date and this is how we can submit uh, the adjustment from here as well as if we wanted to cancel the contract we can click on the cancel contract button and then immediately the state becomes the cancel for this particular contract so this is how exactly the uh, contract management life cycle in the vendor management if you wanted to renew this contract automatically you can click on this uh, automatically re renew and select the renewal start date and the renewal end date as well currently it is read only because the contract is active if it is in, uh, in the draft state then we can select it if it is an active state then we can't select it so uh, that is the out of the box flow for this contract management uh, additionally we are having here uh, the button for the renew if we click on this button then we can see that it is uh, allowing us to select the start, uh, re renewal start date as well as renewal end date from here as well as the cost for this particular contract as well after renewal and the approval we are having the approval for the renewal as well so once we select the start date and the end date let me select it suppose if you wanted to renew on the 15th of august up to the 31st of august we will keep the same approval and then click on the submit for review button then we can see that the state remains the active because the contract is still in the active and the substrate changes to under review so now we will go to this approval table then refresh it and we can see that one approval is getting trigger for this particular user we can click on it and then approved it once we approved that and once we re refresh this page we can see that the substrate changes to renewal approved and the renewal start date and end date is present here so this is how exactly the uh, life cycle for the contract management in the vendor management i hope you find this video as a helpful please do like it subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching it